when the printer strike spread to the ink manufacturing industry, the public began to sit up and take notice. For this development might mean that the national newspapers, not till now concerned in the dispute, might cease publication. Tempers ran high among the picket men and other strikers. The ink workers had banned overtime, so the employer said that unless all restrictive practices ceased, the men responsible would be dismissed. The strike threat was the answer. Workers accused the police of exceeding their duties. Trouble has been brewing a long time in the printing industry, but as no modern democracy can function properly without newspapers, an early settlement is vital.